LGIP versus MEGIE. See, I think we're okay. It looks okay, ready to go. Let's open up the notes and yes. Hi. So good evening, good morning, or wherever you are. And so this is the first time, so excuse all the hiccups, all the miss outs on the way. And this is something new as you can see out there. So today is ethane versus propane, LGIP versus MEGIE. Do you know what all the differences are? And today I'm with a special guest out here. This is my colleague from my past life, from my previous uh, companies. We've known each other by names, but never by face. So this time we put a face to the name and please welcome Chief Engineer Kamilis Rajesh. Hi guys, nice to meet you and uh, I'm very happy I'm with Sean here. So we'll have a quick discussion about what the difference between both the systems and uh, you can always come back with your questions and queries. Uh, let's see ahead. How is it? Yeah, thank you. So can you please, uh, okay, uh, I'll give us, I mean, this will go like, you know, maybe I give a five minutes, uh, a few, not five minutes, a little too much. So I give you a little bit of a brief of what I yes. do. It's like a comparison. So, you know, like for, okay, let's go with me. So I'm doing this uh, Megi engines, M-E-G-I-E, -E, uh, since the past uh, almost three years now. So I've been inducted. I've done the training on the course on this engine at Busan in Korea and been working on these engines ever since and been in gas since 2016. So prior to that, I was on a gas vessel as a third engineer and also assisted the cargo engineer in 2010. So that was a Italian vessel. And uh, yes, sir, so how about yourself? So myself, I am doing uh, my gas vessels from the year 2006. Oh, that's a long time. It's a long time. <laughs> wow. and, uh, almost mostly, 20 years. Yes, almost 20 years I'm in gas vessels. And uh, the updation which is coming uh, recently, like uh, your ethane carriers and the LGAPs, for the past three years, we have seen a lot of advancement in these areas and particularly LGIP, which is the latest one developed and uh, this has much scope for the future because it's not only propane which can be used and the butane also can be used. So oh, both the LPGs wait, 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 can oh, be used. This was actually a little surprise to the end. It was a surprise to me when I discussed this with you also earlier. Yes, yes, because uh, that's how the product is given and uh, so it depends like uh, some of the vessels uh, only the settings have to be changed to run in propane or in butane mode and uh, some vessels it is auto as per the vessel para as per the cargo parameters the settings will auto tune itself and then you can use the cargo as your fuel system okay so this is something new even that i have learned and i have discovered today that uh, lgip is not just propane as the name suggests it's propane butane and probably even a mixture yes yes yes, yes a mixture of propane butane fantastic well and as for that goes, my side of the comparison, MEGIE is purely and purely ethane only. It can take uh, concentrations of uh, LPG, but uh, with the maximum ethane has to be 85% and uh, the rest can be an LPG mix. But ethane is 85% in this mixture. Yes. So LGIP is propane, butane and LPG mix as well. Interesting to know. MEGIE, ethane concept, the MEGI concept, we inject gas so there's gas that's injected at 380 bar 380 bar ethane gas at about 45 degrees is what is the standard uh, temperature plus or minus uh, 5 degrees so gas 380 bar 45 degrees and what is injected in in your okay now you see the pressure built up from the uh, fgs system is only 28 bar okay so it's 28 bar which has been boosted up in individual fbavs given in each unit so the name itself, bar. that means lgi P means liquid gas, gas injection. injection yes. So liquid is reaches the injector at 28, 28 bar. bar and okay. then from 28 bar you rise it in okay. each FBIV which is provided for so each unit. No, no. Can I know what is FBIV? Fuel booster injection valve. Yes. Okay. So fuel booster injection valve raises the pressure to about 900? No, no, no. It raises about 450. 400 bar is, is yes, injected at that pressure. Injected. Wow. So that's the basic difference. So LGIP, you have liquid at about 400 bar in the engine. Whereas here you have gas on ethane engines, gas and 400 bar into the engine. And what would be the temperature? The temperature settings uh, will be around 35, 30 35 degrees, 40 yes, degrees. degrees. Okay, fantastic. And let's do one more question before we uh, put this out, uh, put this uh, video out and have your comments and your questions to ethane and LGIP. So one more last question. What about bunkering? Bunkering or yes. tank configuration, how now, is that? These vessels usually will have one tank as a designated bunker tank. 
that is uh, let us take for example maybe a number 3 cargo tank has a partition and which is uh, having a capacity of 3600 cubics like what's the maximum capacity the bunkers can be taken along with the cargo this will be designated by us with the charters and uh, the cargo once taken the bl will be given by the chief officer to chief engineer saying that this is the bunkers loaded for this vessel okay so that means point. you mean bunkering of this vessel is internal the chief officer Yes. is the bunker barge and chief engineer is the vessel. So, chief chief officer hands over bunkers to with yes. a vessel. Yes, with whatever okay. quantity bunkers receive. But I have seen some ships with a deck tank. So, is the deck tank as a part of a bunker tank so in see, the Usually, they give only one of the cargo tanks. Cargo tanks, tanks. okay. Yes. And the deck tanks can be used, but usually right now the design is such that one of the tanks are given as a bunker tank. Okay. With a partition. Okay. So, where? Uh, which can be used as a cargo tank also. Okay, yes, yes. So that was my next question to you. In case you don't end up consuming your yes. bunkers or the chart, because ultimately the fuel belongs to the charterer. Yes. So the charterer, when the charterer asks you that uh, do not consume bunker, please return the bunker. Yes, yes. So how yes. would it return from that tank? Because Is there we have a, a separate bulkhead valve? Yes. Okay, we have so a just a bulkhead valve. Yes, yes. The bulkhead valve holds in between both the tanks, and if you want to use it as a cargo, then just uh, equalize it so that it's a cargo part. Cargo part. And so if you want to use a bunker, you close it. Okay, so that means the vapor space of this uh, cargo tank and the bunker tank is it the same yes it's the same so the vapor space is the same so it's just like having a center line bulkhead yes, center line so bulkhead. in this case you have another bulkhead for this for this first, particular first bunker, bunker tank, tank. Yes. okay so now the difference in ethane in ethane i've done two different ships from two different yards so it depends on the configuration of the tank one 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 yard had tank three and four to be okay. used as a bunker tank I mean, cargo tank 3 and 4, there is no individual tank, there is no separate tank, either I can use cargo tank 3, three or, or cargo tank 4. 4 and in another yard it was tank 2 and tank 4. So, tank 4 will generally be there because when you trim the vessel, a lot of cargo in the ballast passage will come up. So, that is why tank 4 will always be there. The other tank will be as a substitute in case this pump fails because there is one pump per tank. Per tank, okay. And what about your supply pump? One no, pump? no, we have two pumps. Two in pumps one, in each yes, in that particular, in that particular tank. tank and we can use any one of the pumps. Okay, so interesting. So, we have covered uh, the basic difference, injection, the bunkering, the procedure for the tanks. So, now stay tuned and uh, please drop in the comments, drop in your questions in the comments of this video. So, in this week, probably once we reach at about 20-30 questions or even more, we will uh, go yes, ahead with, we'll go with ahead. what the people say. Yes, yes. What do you say? Yes, yes, we'll go ahead with the question. All right, so thank That's you very it. much. Thank, thank you, you, guys. Thank you for making up your thank, uh, a very big thank you to Chief Engineer, uh, Chief Engineer Camelus for, you know, uh, putting up to my craziness, putting up to my all this drama. But uh, hopefully in one way we can share our knowledge, share our yes. experience. Yes, nice to be with Sean. I have learned a lot of from him. Okay, we also look forward yeah, to yeah. learn from you guys also. Yeah, because a lot of your questions, there will yes. be a lot of answers to your questions what we just don't have at the top of our head. We might have to actually think back, yes. read the manuals and then give you the, the accurate details. Yes, yes. Because you know, we believe in sharing knowledge. Uh, Shivin has shared a lot of his experience with me and you know, it, it's just fun. It's just fun. It's just not, uh, you know, a lot of yes, yes. All, all talk and no show. Yes. So, okay. Thank you, you sir. Thank you very much. Okay, Thank you very much. Okay. See you guys. So, remember this and this. Take care. Bye-bye and stay Bye. safe.